From here we will take a more in-depth look at toolbox, diagnostic, performance, and run icons. Data management, calibration, ISO, and work condition will be covered more in depth in other sessions of this class. We're also only going to focus on things that are common across most platforms. So, into the toolbox, we see that our first tab that we land on is Display Setup. This is where we have some user settings as well as an interface level setting. There are two options, basic and advanced. Ensure that the system is set to advanced if the user wants any precision farming functionality, such as auto guidance or automatic section shutoff. The next tab is operator. This is where we can set up individual operators in the display so they can see and view the display how they desire. The next tab is layout. This is where we can have a custom setup of layout screens. Note that the run screens can be named. The next tab is implement, or depending on the vehicle it may say header or boom. There are various settings in here regarding the working width and the swath width of your system. Ensure that these are all correct. The next tab we will look at is the GPS tab. This is where we can find some GPS settings, such as DGPS alarm, receiver selection, and a few others. Ensure that the GPS receiver location is set properly. Also, ensure that all the measurements are set properly as well. If we go down one page, we can see connection type. For connection types, any system that was recently installed at the factory will be CAN-A. The next tab we'll go into is the PF tab, or Precision Farming Setup tab. This is where we have various settings, such as what type of guidance system we're using, what type of alarm audio, do we want to use the boundary complete option, as well as season setup. The next tab is marks. This is where we have setup options for our marks. Remember that marks are temporary and they stay with the specific task that they were created with. The next tab is manual. This is where this is our setup window for a manual application control. The next tab is product. This is where a product is created and application rates are specified for that specific product. The next tab is container. This is our window to create a virtual container where a product will be stored. This container setup will track our usage of the products that we made in the previous tab by looking at our application rate and application width. There are no physical sensors for this virtual container. The next tab is overlap. This is where we have some preference settings for our overlap and boundary control, as well as our start early and stop late settings, or otherwise insurance. The next tab we'll look at is our Nav S or Nav Settings tab. In the Nav S or Nav Settings tab, this is where we have various settings pertaining to our navigation controller and our navigation system. We have navigation, where we will select what type of navigation system we are using, as well as minimum turning radius, active swath point, and nudge trim. These will all affect the performance of the system and how it performs while on auto guidance. Swath finder mode, swath finder range, and swath finder time are all visual effects that will not affect our actual performance of our auto guidance system. The next tab is Nav P, or Nav Performance. This is our window to fine tune the steering characteristics of the auto guidance system on vehicles that support advanced line acquisition. Note that Nav P can be set to standard or advanced mode. Currently it's set in standard mode. In advanced mode, we would see all the different settings that advanced line acquisition brings us. The next tab we will look at is the Activate tab. This is where activation codes are entered into the display as well as to retrieve the lock code for an activation transfer. That was it for our toolbox. To get back to the home screen, all we have to do is press the back button in the bottom left hand corner. From here, we will go into the diagnostic screen. In the diagnostic screen, the first tab we are landed on is the version tab. 
This is where a user can view all the different software versions for all the different software packages that are loaded onto the display. The next tab is CAN. This is where a user can view all of the controllers that are on the CAN bus and the associated software and hardware versions of those controllers. In fault, we can come in and view, ignore, and enable fault codes that have occurred. The next tab is resource. In the resource tab, we can view the amount of available storage remaining on the removable memory device, as well as the used and remaining growers, farms, fields, tags, products, containers, and swaths, as well as multi-swath plus lines. The GPS tab shows GPS information, such as DOP, latitude, longitude, and similar bits of information. The GPS2 tab shows the user the SNR elevation azimuth and a sky plot of where the visible and tracked satellites are, including communication satellites, and where they are in relation to the vehicle. The RDI screen, it's grayed out on our screen now, but this is where we would go in to set up our GPS receiver. The safety tab again is grayed out, but this will show the liability agreement statement that has to be agreed to before engaging on auto guidance. We'll go back to the home screen and talk briefly about the run screens. The run screen is where the user will enter into the working area of the display and where the user's previously configured run screens and user-defined windows are shown and used while operating. Remember, a run screen tabs can be named specifically. Let's take a look at the performance tab. In the performance tab, our first area that we land on is the profile. This allows for the user to either create or select a grower farm field structure as well as create a task. We can also make tags for that specific task or crop as well as select a previously created implement to use. Summary 1 and Summary 2 shows the user the summary information that they selected to see while setting up this screen as well as the actual summary information for the data that they created while working in the field. The RX setup window or prescription setup window is a window for various prescription settings including prescription auto reload and what grower farm field the prescription is for and what layer the prescription is to be used for.